All right, so today I'm gonna be talking about how you can cycle your tank, get corals and fish in your tank within one month. So the first thing I wanna point out is just, as much people say patience is the key to success, there are always shortcuts in everything you do and there are shortcuts in this hobby of reef keeping. So, well, fish keeping in general. So the first thing I'm gonna start off is the ideas and the basics of cycling. Okay, so right now you guys are looking at my 45 gallon Red Sea E170 Max series. So pretty much what I wanna talk about is I'm gonna start off with the basics of the nitrogen cycle. So the nitrogen cycle starts off with ammonia. So in order to cycle your tank, you're gonna need a source of ammonia. I recommend pretty much just throwing in some live sand, ghost feeding if you need to, throw in some raw shrimp here and there and um, if you do have an existing tank like the tank I showed in the beginning I recommend using that like get some filter floss and let it run in that tank for a few days and just squeeze it into this new cycling tank um, every so often and I'm pretty much just gonna skim through the nitrogen cycle because I'm pretty sure most of you guys here have heard of it if not then I'm just gonna be a refresher um, then it goes to nitrite and after nitrite you go to nitrate um, during the process for my one month cycle, I did not turn on any of my aquarium lights. I actually just used sunlight. So you can see in the right side of the screen, you can see the window, which I left open, which did increase algae growth, which I am okay with. Personally, I am just, it's part of the cycle. It's the food for the copods, any bacteria. And it just shows that, I mean, you have something living in the tank. Um, I used live sand, 20 pounds from Carib Sea. And then I used, um, you can see just uh, live rock. Well, actually, no, my bad. It's like 80% dry rock and like 20% live rock. Majority is just dry rock. And the die off off there was also another source of ammonia. And after about two weeks, nitrates were zero. During this whole cycle, I was quarantining my green chromuses for, I say I quarantined them for about four weeks. And on that four week mark, after well, when my this tank was at two and a half weeks old i threw in these three green chromuses and man they were just amazing because they've always been good eaters so i threw them in there and everything seemed great the nitrates the bacteria was able to withstand it so nitrates there was no spike whatsoever the fish thrived and then after about three and a half week mark the nitrates were almost to zero so it was almost un uneven readable. So I started slowly throwing in corals and I recommend if you are throwing corals, I'd start with soft corals and then gradually rise to LPS. And I don't recommend SPS yet unless you have the time and the money. Otherwise, don't do it. Um, I prefer keeping strictly uh, soft and LPS. As you can see in the bottom of the tank, sitting on the bottom I have frog spawn and hammock corals and then also, I have a candy cane coral with my LPS, and um, the rest I just have a bunch of leather corals, mushrooms, toadstools, zoas, oh my bad, softy corals as well, zinnia a little bit, um, and to be honest, it, it, it's, it's a gradual process, and like I said in the beginning, patience, yes, but there are ways to go around, and here you can see the yellow tank I recently just got two days ago, okay, and this tank is about, like about five days older than one month so about i'd say i think it's about 35 36 days old and i mean it already looks like a nice tank you already see my corals are looking fine this tank has been here for a few days and it's already out out and about swimming he's eating um some seaweed nori whatever you want to call it and it works out fine i did not turn on the skimmer till the three week mark after having the chromis in there for a, f a little bit but I did not, I did not add the um, turn on the skimmer yet, and then also the um, lights. I only turned on just recently, right right when I turned it on, right when I put in the corals, I turned on the light, and then the tank just came in recently. And I mean, as you can see, everything is going great. Um, the basics I just wanted to let you guys know is, yes, you can take two months to cycle your tank. You can throw in some dry rock slowly throw in some nitrifying bacteria but again i am a broke reefer i am not gonna go spend 
what's it called, like extra 10, 15 bucks on nitrifying bacteria, which I know I can do myself. Um, if you're wondering, this is how much I got this tank. Um, yes, on like bulk, bulk, re, bulk BRS, man, and BRS or um, anything online, brand new, this E170 series actually costs 1,500 around. But I was able to use an app called OfferUp, like I've mentioned in my previous video, um, OfferUp, and I was able to find a great deal and got the tank, the stand, and the light including included, as well as a few um, supplements, all for only $300. So that's a great, great deal. And I now am tutoring as my budget to support the hobby. And I mean, as you can see, everything looks well. I'm gonna bring it up a little closer. I mean, the lights I did change, the thing's probably gonna go higher right now. But um, the lights I did change just for the video, just to make it a little more purple-ish, so you can see it come out a little bit stronger. Um, here's my hammers, a few pallies. My bright Zoe is right there. There's my toadstool. And I have some tree leathers. They are green, but in the video it is not really coming up as green. There's my mushroom, and I have a few more corals on the left. Here are the chromuses, they're great, great fun fish. Um, so that is my tank, one month years old, already looking like this. Um, I plan on giving maybe a two month to three month update, though this is more for my personal sake, because I'm not doing this with subscribers, I'm just doing this just to document the process of my tank. Oh, and about one week ago was the six week birthday of this tank. Um, as you can see, I have anemones, my still my two clownfish, Xenia, Favia, and I mean, everything is looking great. The light is not really working on here. It's not really wanting to focus, but um, that is updates for now. But yeah, back again here. Pretty much patience, yes, but you do not need to take that long there are always shortcuts in everything you do and i mean stay fun stay fun my bad <laughs> have fun and um keep reefing and comment down below if you have any other questions if not um hope you enjoyed peace